Hi, this is Kate from Isilicious Designs and today I'm going to be doing a new project and I'm calling it Build a Girl, Build a Doll um, and it's basically going to be exactly that, building a little doll, a girl doll from different parts and as you can see I have different faces, I have different tops, different legs different skirts. Now you're going to be very familiar with the um, standing up skirt which when applied lets your little doll stand up. Let's show you how to do that. There we go. Um, little tutus that can go around as well. And all of these parts are separate and we can add them together to build a doll and we can change her whenever we want. Um, you can add to her, so one day she might be a brunette and the next day you might swap her head out and she can be a blonde. Or you might decide that you don't want her in a short little dress and you take the short little dress off and change her into a tutu. And this tutorial is going to actually focus on how to make the different faces. I'm going to do it in sections so that we can go nice and slow. So the first one will be on how to make some different faces. So we're going to need a single loom. I'm going to move all the other pieces out the way so it doesn't distract us. <laughs> and there are a variety of different faces that we can make. With these faces, they actually get attached to the body. As you can see, I have um, a little, uh, I suppose, a clip of some sort. Um, I was actually initially just using twisty ties because where we actually make the body, at the neck, we do not tie off because that is going to allow us to swap heads whenever we want to. So, as I said, we'll start off doing some heads and uh, we'll move on from there. There's a specific format really for making the heads and today I'm just going to um, do one that most of you are familiar with. It's going to be a standard um, configuration offset. So columns one and three are going to be slightly lower than column two. Your arrow is facing towards you. If you don't have an arrow it's the open part of the loom that faces towards you and we are going to be double banding which means you take two bands and you place them over the pegs as if they were one. Now when we're doing faces we always sort of start with the hair outline like this and then we have one down the middle here for her bangs, like that. And we're going to move to some skin tone bands. And I'm going to be using mini pony beads as my eyes. So this is a standard format for a face. And the only thing that you really change up really is the hair. Now one of the differences that we're going to do is at the chin we're going to put an end cap because each of these little faces is finished and it doesn't go onto the body so we need to put an end cap there. So it's a single band that you wrap around your hook twice which gives you three loops and you're going to pop that there. We're going to put a crossover band here and it goes over the three pegs. We're going to take a single band and twist it once, twice and three times and place that across the two pegs for the eyes. Now I use, as I said, mini pony beads at the moment. They're what I have <laughs> in my containers and I'm going to thread those onto a flesh tone band. 
Now it doesn't matter if you use um, floss, if you use a metal threader, if you th thread them by hand, it really doesn't matter. But whichever way you do, they get put on. You can use bands, you can use black bands. If you use bands, you take one band, wrap it around your hook four times, slide two of those, so you, you do that twice, you slide two of those onto the, sing the single flesh tone band and then we're going to take this top part of the band and lift it over and above. So the bottom part is under that peg, the top part is above that peg and that acts as a crossover band. So this is our basic shape for a face. If we were doing a male, that's probably how we would leave it. Now for the females we have options to pretty up their hair and one of the ways is to take a single band wrap it around your hook twice and add a couple of extensions onto it. Now you can do layers but I know that gets a little bit tricky so take a single band wrap it around your hook twice and slide it onto two bands of the hair colour that you have chosen. I've chosen black today and another two now for this particular one that we're doing, I'm going to just place that on the side by her eyes and I'm going to do this particular style today. Poke your hook through the end cap and stretch that out so that your band goes around this peg here at her jawline. I'm going to do the same again. Wrap it around slide it onto two and slide it onto another two. Now if you wanted to make a pony to, you know a, a braid that goes longer for either side all you do is make these longer. So for example instead of stopping after putting two on you'd keep going put eight or nine on Okay, and then when you attach them, the ones that are closest to your to your hook, that are on your hook, they get put next to the eye, and then you skip down a loop to the third one. So this is loop number one, you skip number two, and you go to number three, which in my case is the crossover, uh, the uh, end cap. And because you're skipping that that band here, the one in the middle, that gives this puffiness to the side to give it a bit of oomph to the hair so that it doesn't look like it's just drawn on with a sharpie. Okay, so that explains really how to do these three hairstyles. This one where you have a bit of crazy hair is a little bit different and uh, what you actually do is use single chains. So you take a single band, wrap it around three times and instead of sliding it onto two bands you're sliding onto one band and you're making a chain. And if you follow my um, tutorial on how to make Merida from Brave, that will actually show you how to do the, uh, the curly hair quite well. So you'd make a chain like this however long you want. Instead of putting these side bits on, you'd actually lift up this set of bands here and you would slide the chains on like that and as you can see I've put four on each side so I've lifted up these bands and I've slid four chains onto them so that I could make ponytails. Now for Merida I actually had four on each side and then I added two up here as well and I added some directly on the ones um, at her eye level. So that's a different, again, way of doing some hair. But you need to experiment and um, if you have a look at some of the princess tutorials I've done, you'll be able to see the different hairstyles that, um, that I've done there. You can do buns on the top of the head and all sorts of things. Okay, so this is our first one. We're going to dig down past the end cap grab the two top bands and holding that end cap in place you're going to loom across to the side and push those down. Same for the other side. Grab the two top bands 
and loom across and again and loom up. Now for the hair we're going to take the side hair off making sure to leave the flesh tone bands Kate thank you very much. <laughs> Hold them out to one side dig down and find the bottom two skin tone bands wiggle them up and loop them above there and then you place your hair bands back like that I'm just going to move the camera a bit so you can see a little better now dig down find the bottom two black bands and loom up same this side take the hair extensions off the side hold them out with your thumb and finger dig down and find the two bottom flesh tone bands hit everything in your way <laughs> loop them up like that grab the two bands with four loops and let's put those back here on the loom dig down find the two bottom black bands and loop up and now we just loop the hair into the center like this take two black bands dig down poke your hook through and pull these out reclaim the end of your bands and take the first two the two that are closest to you up over and off and pull tight I'm going to take this off the loom and I use the back of a metal hook to help me and there we have a little face stretch her out into shape now I'm going to hide these at the back here behind some of these other bands so I'm just going to grab them and drag them back and then you can discreetly just tuck them behind some of these bands here like that okay now the other thing I'm going to do for this particular one is take a single red band and I'm just going to put a little hair band in her hair so I'm going to dig down find a couple of black bands and all I'm going to do is stretch the band out and tie a knot like that so there's our little face and in the next tutorial we're going to make her body I'll see you then